everyone. Welcome back to the next session here with uh, Theme Fusion. Um, I'm joined by Marcus, who's the CTO. Um, Marcus is actually based in Austria, and you can tell because Austrians all have really, really, really long surnames. Um, and I have tried to pronounce this surname in the past and not done a good job on it, so I'm not even going to try this time. But Marcus, welcome. Um, uh, Theme Fusion is uh, obviously the creators of the top selling WordPress theme of all time, Avada. And, uh, the and Mark's going to be sharing uh, a little bit of the author journey that they've been on and some of the learnings in the world of WordPress and Envato. Uh, in Mark's presentation behind the scenes, you will get an in depth look into Theme Fusion's typical day, their history, some of their milestones, recommendations for success, and key insights into how they operate as a global team. Well, thank you for being with us today, Mark. I'll turn it over to you. I'm really looking forward to your presentation. Thank you for, for actually having us. Um, hey, everyone. It's great to be back at Envato Worldwide, although this time only digitally. But I think it's, it's a good opportunity for all of us to do something online that's apart from maybe online gaming, Netflix, and social media. When we first have been asked to do the talk, we thought, well, what could be interesting for this kind of professional audience? And we thought, well, there's one thing that we should not be doing, doing our best, and then be boring you guys. So we're better not messing with Mr. Connery and not going to bore you. So when Alata asked us to do a presentation, we thought, well, you guys do know all the pro secrets. You do know how to do your job. So what can we do to make your job maybe easier, that you can learn something from how we do our job, which is usually something that we also do like to hear how others are doing their job so we can learn from the community altogether. So we came up with a presentation about Think View the Scenes, where we're going to show you a little bit on how we're doing our job. Um, we're doing five different short sections. The first one is going to be a who are having a um, few in the back mirror, a little history of theme fusion, then how, who we are today, how we have a job on a daily basis, and then we focus on how we work with our community. And a lot of things have been told by, by James and, and others. Um, so it's, it's not going to be easy for me to present you something new because they've done an amazing job in it, but we'll try our best. And then something I call Mr. Smart Pants Corner. So giving you a few recommendations from us. So let's jump right on it. And yeah, that's true. Time flies. So how did everything start for us? Well, Think Fusion actually was found in 2012. Um, it was found by Luke and Harris, and the second part of the name is already a reference for what the company really was right from the start. It was a fusion between professional design and professional development. And all of that being the case, when we make success, really. So we had to go back to the drawing board and think, well, what can we change? And we thought, everything is going to be different when Avada is going to be released. And we thought, well, we're going to focus on making a theme that is So Avada launched on the 16th of August of the same year on Theme Forest. And during the first four days, we had 150 sales, which back then could be considered uh, quite a big success, actually. Within the second week, we climbed to the number one spot of the top sellers, and we did remain there. But every birthday that we had and are still having is bringing new challenges with it, but also new rewards. And when I'm talking about challenges, you all know it could be either a change in the market situation uh, in the WordPress community with WordPress trends, or even just uh, new features that users demand. 
Um, so I'm going to walk you through some of our major versions now, uh, and I'm going to illustrate some of the challenges that we faced during these major versions. So when we started with Avada 1, obviously we were lucky and had a big success right from the start. So the main challenge then was to keep it actually going. And that countless hours of analysis of user feedback that we got and to work that into the product. So Wish 1 alone had 12 consecutive um, updates where we tried to put everything in that we got from the feedback of our users. But working with user feedback means that you first have to actually get user feedback. And that is something I'm going to touch on in a few minutes. With about a two and three, we just went on in the same way by adding whatever users demand with new features. And when I say new, I mean a ton of new features. Most of them driven by all the feedback that we got from our community that quickly built up. And some of them also based on WordPress changes and the need to stay on top of the industry, really. There was one trend that was emerging post version three. So when we hit Havada 3.6, and that was in September 2014, we saw increasing uh, demand from users that they want to have an easy tool to build more complex pages. And this was when Fusion Build was born. And right from the start, we knew we wouldn't do it in a way where we think, well, we have to be the first one to do it all. But when we do something, we want to do it right. And we've continued exactly that throughout the next weeks, which is when we got to about a 4.0, uh, we released a first CSS compiler as one of the first in the industry. But then we took a step back and thought, well, is there something that we could do better in some of the parts of the theme that have already been there? And we decided, well, we have to grow with a challenge and decided to completely rework our very successful Fusion Options Network. So it's all been there, and it has been working nicely for users, but we thought we can do even better. So we incorporated all the user feedback that we got to make that option panel even better. And we continued with this way in about a five. What we did there is we did a complete rewrite of Fusion Builder, which was performance-based, and again, we took all that we got from the user feedback, all the recommendations and UI and UX stuff that users actually brought up, and we, we let that be brought into the new Fusion pillar because we knew we needed a future foundation for the things that we still wanted to achieve. And that brings us to the last of our 6 to 6.3, where we have been able, because of that foundation, to bring the, the site building or the page building experience to the front end so it's a lot easier for people to build more complex sites. And we have been able to launch the Avada theme builder, which helps people to easily change uh, parts of the WordPress site that usually would need template editing and coding skills. So that's all more or less coming from the user feedback and the analysis of what our audience really wants. It also had some um, impact on our sales, obviously, that we listen to our users, and that's, that's a very important thing, in, in my opinion, because users like that it, to see that you take them serious, that you take their input serious. So if you take a look at, at this chart, years to reach uh, 100,000 sales, but then April 2016, April 2017 and March 2018, we were able to reach 400,000 customers. So it became quicker because of all the effort we put into analyzing user feedback and, and incorporating that in our product. And finally, last year, we've been able to hit what we never thought would be possible to achieve the 500,000 in sales milestone. And currently, we're working on our next one. That also had some... Um, was some uh, an Envato Elite program. It's interesting. It just took us 
a month to become elite author, which was September 2012. Right before our first birthday, we were able to hit the power elite status. And in December 15, we were able to hit the 10 million in sales milestone, which was never hit before. And finally, in July 2018, we hit what Envato until then had considered to be the final frontier, the 25 million sales milestone. So we really can say that it does pay off if you listen to the users and the feedback that they provide. So now let's go to who we are today. I'm going to show you the team quickly. And you, as you can see, there's quite a few gangsters on there. And apart from the lady who is doing our finances, you definitely see that we're not earning our living as dressmen. Currently, we have a team of 22 people that are doing all the magic that uh, Abad is able to, to do. I'm quickly showing you a world map that you see where we are located from Australia, India, Pakistan, Greece, Serbia, Austria, United Kingdom, Canada, USA, Mexico, and Argentina. So we're quite a diversified team. I'm, by the way, the guy from Austria, which you definitely guessed from my accent. But it does show you that we believe that diversity is very important when it comes to skills like problem solving and creativity. So that's definitely a tip that, that we can hand over to you. company now. When it comes to visitors of our websites per month, we are currently at 2.2 million visitors. We've currently got licenses sold. On average, we do reply to 50,000 new support tickets per year. The same amount is uh, true for demo downloads per month. And our team works per year 38,000 hours to accomplish everything that Avada is able to do. Here's some more private stats of the team. Let's have a look at the drinks that we have. I was surprised by that, really, because the cups of tea which is actually more than cups of coffee. I didn't expect that, which is 5,100, still quite a few. And leave one of our team members apparently we drink 350 bottles of vodka per year that's pretty early. a few more personal stats in the last three years we did have six weddings and we also had six babies although they don't really match up completely but i'm going to show you one of the babies damian who's already been hired as a beta tester and is literally testing about it from all angles and then there's a third six in here, and that's not a team achievement, it's an achievement of just one single developer from our team. He had in just the last three years. That's also interesting. If you don't believe it, here's some evidence about it. So let's move on to what we actually do and this is what we want we want to create a product that is an offer that user can really refuse to use and what just one product because we focus all our efforts on one product as we believe that that way you out of the product and the best out of all the efforts we put into it so how are we doing our job might be something that is interesting to some of you. We are structured in six different departments. Um, I'll start with the senior department for all the project management, the future planning for the company is done where staff hires are done, where we think about all the things that will be relevant for the company in the future. And the senior team is, is also doing the PR stuff and marketing and has a close connection to all the other departments as we think that makes it easier to stay on, on the top of everything that is going on in the company. Our development department, here all the magic is happening that Avada can do. Uh, I think most of the coffee is sipping away here. Uh, the team is currently made up of seven 
team members and on the job training to make sure everyone stays on top of the best practices and also trends in the industry. And the team is also responsible for our website and the software running on our service. Then we have the design team and these guys are really everywhere. No matter if it's our pixel perfect demos that we give out for, to our users for free, if it's marketing material that we do need, or if it's UI and UX designs, or the design of new features, they do all that kind of stuff. Then we have a support department, and because of the huge user base that we do have, we have a lot of support tickets. That is why this department is by far the largest with currently eight people working there. And the interesting thing about support is that we do believe it is the backbone of every successful software company, but at the same time, it is oftentimes underestimated. So don't do that. Never underestimate the importance of excellent support. And another important department is the documentation department. Um, the same is true for documentation. What excellent support means for the connection between theme fusion and our user base in general, the documentation means for the connection between Avada as a product and a single user. And if there's one single most underestimated department, I think it is a documentation department. We all do intuitive products and it's good that we do it that way, but still an extensive and easy to read documentation with good videos and imagery keeps the customer warm and cozy. So don't underestimate that. When it comes to fear, we do believe that a nice working climate and a fun work atmosphere is very important to keep creativity flowing and keep up a good team spirit. So what we do is we do joke a lot together, which is important in my opinion. But it's not only joking, there also has to be a room for owning. And I just did a quick keyboard search for you that you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's happening quite a bit. We also do sort of help each other. And we also do sell so can be a bit interesting as an online remote business. But when we reach company milestones uh, and have certain achievements, we do something like a group call, which can be funny with 22 people in, in the team, especially if you wake up to Australian team member in the middle of his night, you're back to the moaning section together. But in general, these celebrations are fun. And obviously, as I told you, coffee and tea is being everywhere also good for the team atmosphere. So what is a typical day like in our office? day Because usually we are fighting the fire of the day, which can be anything, as you guys will also face it. If it's a server crash, a bug that you found, if it's a new version of WooCommerce, for example, with outdated template files, uh, if Google is changing their algorithm for page speeds again and you get some X-rated user complaints because of that, or if maybe there's another change in, in other policies, you name it, uh, all kinds of stuff that you have to take care of. So while there's no real typical day, at least can you give you a, a timeline of the typical work day we have. So we do start in Australia where our documentation lead is working. Then we move on to India and Pakistan. The support guys and the development guy come in. So the direct user interaction does start. In Europe, we have developers and some uh, design guys. And then we move on to North America where people from all departments come in. So some of the support from the guys from India and Pakistan who are already done with their shifts uh, are taken over by the North American part of the support. And finally, Argentina, more support, which makes sure that we have support online more or less 24 7. And before the guy in Argentina ends his shift, Australia is starting over right again. So let's move on to the next section, the friendship. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about community, and this is what we want it to be, some sort of friendship really. Let's talk a bit about our audience and WordPress community feedback, because we think that is very, very important. We've heard it in the talks earlier today already, specifically in the talk from, from James. So, 
it helps you to stay connected to the community if you listen to the feedback. It also helps you to stay up to date with the latest trends within your community, within your audience, or within the, the WordPress audience in general in a broad scale. And it also helps you to understand the different needs of your customers better. For example, agencies and freelancers do not always have the same needs. But if you're staying connected to your community, you will be aware of the different needs that the different groups of your audience do have. And this has a direct influence on our release cycle planning, whether if it's features, demos, UI, or exit, directly flows into our release cycles. I'll give you some stats regarding the feedback that we do, that we do get so that you get an impression about um, what I mean. When it comes to comments, for example, we currently have about 33,000 there. And with 23,000 overall five-star average ratings, uh, we do have a Facebook group where people help people and also exchange their opinions about new features that we have. Currently 20,000 people strong, still growing. Uh, we've heard social media being important. We currently have a uh, social media follower community of 31,000. And as I already mentioned earlier, we have 50,000 support tickets per year. That is 137 support tickets, new tickets per day. So you can see a lot of feedback is coming in through all these channels. When it comes to ratings and reviews, well, there are different kinds of ratings and reviews. So uh, be prepared for that, all the ones of you doing the job already sometime are obviously already used to that. So I'm just going to show you some of them, which could be fun. I have no idea what went wrong there, but that's also some sort of feedback that you can get. And again, stuff, and I'm not sure if that really does make sense. But yeah, that's what you get on a daily basis too. <laughs> This is something that you definitely want to hear about your development team. And it's always good for team spirit if, if you see that kind of, of thing. I'm not sure what, where this guy has registered for support. At least it was not at our company. So I'm sorry for him. And I really couldn't make much sense of that one. But one thing is obvious, that guy must have had a really, really bad time. And finally, that's just one way I can only say thank you to the community for that kind of, of comment if they have shared a review. So moving on to some community aspects, um, we also try to contribute to WordPress ecosystem to be involved there. Some of our developers do widely develop stuff for Avada. They do come across a thing that could be improved in WordPress core or some well-known products or you find bugs. And we do not only report them in core and WooCommerce, so we try to get involved. Uh, the same is true for some third-party companies like the events calendar, WPML, and, and others. And we also try to attend WordCamps around the world, which is easier for us because we are remote and working all around the world. Um, we think it's a very, very good idea if you want to get close connection to the WordPress community. We do like to attend the big ones like WordPress, WordCamp Europe, as, as um, James has already mentioned, and you can meet some interesting people there as well. For example, that is Joost and some guy who is working for us. Uh, this is Mike Little, the co-founder of WordPress, and again, some guy who is working for us. And now my favorite celebrity of the WordPress world, um, that is James and some guy who is working with us. And yes, my wife has told me it is a little awkward that I'm on all three of these pictures, but then I thought this is somehow weird too. But not only go to the big WordCamps, also go to the local WordCamps where the connection to use space is, is even closer than at the big WordCamps. And we're also still trying to do even more at WordCamps. 
So let's move the community as far as Envat is concerned. And here the story isn't much different. The conservative part of the WordPress community hasn't always liked Envat that much. But let's face it, the influence that Envato had on, the, the, on WordPress in general and how successful WordPress is, is big time. I mean, thousands of themes and plugins that are on the marketplace at a very good price make it possible for anyone to really jump on WordPress and to find out how easy it is to use. So the contribution to the popularity of WordPress has been huge. And as we all know, Envato definitely provides the marketplace for all of us and makes all our businesses come true which is, is awesome and which is why you should be involved in, in the Envato community. We also try to stay connected to the elite team. We definitely recommend that to everyone, specifically who work with Will and Steven, who are always extremely helpful. Thank you for that. I to give talks when... And I think it's a big uh, opportunity for us now to say thanks to Sarah Louise and James and everyone else on the team who made this uh, conference possible today in this difficult time. And now, the final section, um, we're going to talk to you specifically. So the Mr. Smart. So a few recommendations that we do have to you. Have fun at work and love what you do. and. That might, might, might sound a little banal and, and like, well, pff, what kind of insight is that? But usually you start out having fun, but during the work time, it, it can just change and it can become a little burdensome with all the influences you have on a daily basis. So keep that up. Try to have fun and love what you do. At the same time, do work hard, but keep dreaming. What do I mean when I say keep dreaming? Some of you might remember uh, the Apple's WWDC from last year and they had an interesting timeline there. And they had a lot of developers pulling all nighters working on their products where everyone else was in bed sleeping. And the tagline just said, while the world sleeps, you dream, which is exactly what we should be doing. Make our products better, improve the life of our customers and then get it done. At the same time, as I told you, have top-notch docs and support. It's going to be the backbone of your business, and it's going to make all the difference. Also, stay connected to your audience, whether it is by email, social media, all the kinds of channels we've discussed briefly. It's extremely important to get their feedback in and to put the feedback into your products. And... Stay connected to the WordPress and the Envato community for even more feedback. And in order that you see how the changes you added to your product are received by the community. So that's about it. Actually, everything I wanted uh, to say today. Um, thanks for having us at the conference. We all at Inversion hope you guys are having an awesome rest of the day. Try to do some learning. Also do some socializing older on virtually. And I'm going to close by a very short story from uh, Word Computer 2018, which illustrates what all is possible in even our business. Um, Philip, one of our developers, was there in Belgrade, and he did meet um, a guy after the conference who was a really big Avada fan. And Philip was wearing a t-shirt like, like the one I'm wearing at the moment. And they had a nice conversation. And, at the end of the conversation, the guy said, oh, well, can I have such a teacher? I really do like that Philip didn't have any with him. So the guy just said, well, can we swap T-shirts? So what they did is soccer-like swapping of T-shirts, which was really interesting. So you see almost anything is possible, even two minutes soccer-like celebrity. And that just means do whatever you can, do your job, work hard, keep dreaming. Thank you. I guess uh, James will be back now for some Q&A. That's right. I am here. I'm just going to close that video um, so we can be up and on. We've got a few minutes left for a couple of questions. And some people have been asking a few of them. So um, one of them is very technical. 
So, um, and it's come up a number of times. It's got something to do with nulled versions of your theme. Like how do you fight with nulled versions of your theme? And how did you manage it in the beginning? Do you know what that means? Because that, that, I don't understand that question. How do you fight with nulled versions of your theme? And how did you manage it in the beginning? Sorry, can you repeat the question? You know I, I, I didn't hear the start. I don't it. understand that question. Of your Sounds like we have a bit of a delay, so um, I'll do my best. Um, let's try a different one. How do you reach new customers? Paid traffic, or is it just Envato Marketing Ninjas? Oh, looks like uh, Marcus is having some challenges there with his connection. Um, We've all experienced that a little bit. Hopefully, he'll come on. Uh, AJ, I don't know this this nulled versions of your theme question. Um, so, if that's something that is important to you, help help me unpack that a little bit of what you mean by that, because I don't understand what that means. Hey, Marcus, welcome back. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> it's all okay. Um, so, though, there's this question that that's come up, and a number of uh, people are asking it. I don't actually know what it means. But I think it has something to do with um, like older versions of your theme. So the question is, how do you fight with nulled versions of your theme, and how did you manage it in the beginning? Um, if I understand that correctly, that that has to do with piracy, really. Um, okay. And that's usually not not that easy to to fight. I mean, obviously we have the, the purchase codes uh, system from Avatar, but as you all know, due to how products are supposed to work on, on the theme forest marketplace, the purchase code alone doesn't really help. You can lock down stuff like demo installs and auto updates, but you can't lock down that the product actually works, which is, in my opinion, some, some sort of a problem. So it, it would help us if we could lock down the whole product because then piracy would more or less be gone. Uh, Maybe that is something that can be discussed in a general Q&A later <laughs> with some input from Envato, but um, there's, there's not much you can do that, that nobody's able to use your product. You can lock down the sections that are able to be locked down, but it, that's about it. And these CMAs, yes, you can send them out, but as you all know, I mean, if you really close down one side, there's 10 sites that will be up in the next day, so not too much you can do. Yep, I think that's probably very aligned to advice that uh, I've often given around piracy. Now that I understand what that is, I know the answer to that question. Um, and the answer is exactly as you said. It's like whack-a-mole, right? As soon as you hit one, it just pops up in three other spots. So I've always said that you're, you're better served focusing on the people who would ever buy your product in the first place rather than going after those people who would never buy it. Um, when you focus your attention on the customers that want your product and will pay for it, you get much better value. Um, but I also understand this is something that I picked up over the last year that there's a bit of a cultural thing at play here because I think in some countries piracy is much more prevalent than in other countries. Piracy is not as, um, I don't think it's as big an issue in uh, countries like the United States and in Western Europe, whereas I think in Eastern Europe and um, uh, in Asia, piracy is much more of a factor. So where your local region is, that might impact how you view piracy or how prevalent that is. Um, so just something else to consider. Um, so I want to talk, this is a couple of other good questions here that have come in for you. One in particular, this one comes from um, uh, Constantine um, from ThemeRex, who asks, uh, have you experienced changes in sales in the last 12 months, especially compared to previous 12 months, and why do you think this is happening? I think they're particularly wondering if, if you're going down and what's up. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a really interesting question, and I think it's not always easy to answer that because there's so many factors that come into play there. So I, I can't give you that answer on that, but um, we've definitely seen changes in sales, specifically in the last few months. Uh, sales have been going up for us. Um, some of the factors that will be involved is the product development itself. They've had a lot of new versions, a lot of new features that have been added. 
Uh, I think recently sales might have been going up for almost everyone on a theme forest because a lot of businesses are going online now due to the, the, the COVID crisis. Um, you, you have to think about businesses that have been in, in, the, in the real world of the offline businesses. A lot of restaurants and stuff like that who change to take out business now, but they don't really have a, a web presence or just a static website. And, and they now try to get their businesses on the web shop and, and to sell online. So they need products for that. And obviously, ThingForest is a nice marketplace for that because items are rather cheap. There, in my opinion, they are too cheap there, but that's a different discussion. Uh, so that might be one of the one of the reasons. Obviously, competition, on the other hand, has gone up, not only within Theme Forest, but uh, in, in the whole industry in WordPress. So that might be a reason why some of the sales, uh, with some also have dropped in sales. And another factor might be that uh, simply more authors that are selling on Theme Forest now than they have been. I don't know, six, seven, eight years ago. So there could be a few reasons why you see increases or decreases in sales. Great. Well, we have time for one more question, and uh, and then it'll be time to say goodbye to you, Mark. But uh, the question is, when can we expect item number two from Theme Fusion? <laughs> that's that's another interesting question, and. Actually, internally, we've discussed that a lot, and we wanted to release more items already. And as I said right at the beginning of the talk, we then decided to not do that and to rather focus on one item and put all our efforts into that item to deliver the best service that we can to our customers. And we strongly believe that the market has changed in general. And what people want is they want to have one suite that can do everything you need for the web projects. They don't want to use five, 10 or more products specifically if they have to buy them in order to achieve what they, they want. So also in the future, we are going to just focus on Avada to keep improving it, making it better and adding more value to it for the customer. Great. Well, Mark, thank you so much. Um, it's been thank awesome you hearing from you again. Um, I guess we'll say goodbye. Um, and if you have other questions for Mark, you can find them through Theme Fusion social media accounts. So please definitely. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll say goodbye now. Please, bye. Bye.